Eroke, Latino here, and welcome back to another webisode on The Joel Show. So now it's time to talk about this. I've been dying to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I've been dying to talk about it. Not even, it's only a day ago. But um, yeah, so the next topic, let's get right to it, is the alphabet community, as, as I call them now, but the LGBTQ+, plus or QIA, and Z, L, M, Z, all these freaking letters of the damn alphabet. <laughs> it's just crazy. And then all these different colors now and everything on the freaking flags and shit. Like, uh, I just can't stand these people. Uh, I, uh, I hate them. I <laughs> freaking hate them so much. Like, this just pisses me off. And it's just gotten worse. So now we can finally talk about that with, um, what's it? With, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, with June and everything like that. I was seeing if it's, I, I wrote something else in the corner there. I couldn't really make it out. Since I write so quick or whatever, this looks like, you know, like, like gibberish. <laughs> but um, anyways, um, or script, whatever you call it. <laughs> but um, anyways, so, yeah, so with this community and this month, oh my God, like, I just, I hate, I, I hate June so much. Because the funny thing is, I shouldn't even hate June because when I find out, you know, June is actually a, a, a holy month for us Catholics and everything like that, which I never knew about. And since I, like, you know, more into religion and everything, and, um, you know, like, I finally, like I said, I, I know I mentioned that already in, in one video where, like, I finally see the light now and everything like that. I believe in God again and everything like that. My eyes have been open since 2020. My views have changed. My ideology have changed and everything like that. I'm a whole different person. I'm a whole different Joel now and everything like that. I'm not that same version anymore like that. So, you know, like, my eyes have opened. Like, um, I've learned so much now learned about so much of with the this world how the government is evil <laughs> and uh just other shit you know so um like i have my eyes my i'm wide awake pretty much i'm not sleeping like some people are still sleeping i'm not sleeping like i know what's going on everything like that and i'm not happy with what's going on everything like that so yeah so june is supposed to be a holy month and everything like that i've been reading up a little bit on it i didn't know that honestly i know that today is this the, um the month i mean the day of um jesus the sacred heart of Jesus and everything and how he sacrificed himself for us and stuff like um like I said I'm not I'm still not super I'm not like super religious I'm just more religious now but still not like you know that much but I've been reading more into now like I know I mentioned already that you know I've been more into the Bible now and everything like that so yeah so it's much much different now for me and um I'm just I, like I said I'm a change man <laughs> change man I've seen the light and everything like that so yeah, so that's what I found out with June and everything. I think it starts from the um yeah, from the first. Yeah, from the first um until the twenty fifth, I think. And then that's it for the month. So yeah, I think I think so. So yeah, so I didn't know that, like I said, I just found out about that on Twitter and everything. Um I think it was actually No, actually last year. Last year, June is when I started finding out about this stuff. But now I just really want to talk about it a little bit. So that's what I, you know, that's what I did already. I talk, I just want to explain a little bit about that first. So now let's get into this whole pride thing, you know? So number one, pride is a sin. <laughs> so that's the reason why I also, like, I'm so happy that I'm not that way anymore and everything like that, you know, like within that community. I mean, like I said, still love guys, still love men, but I'm def I'm not one of those people anymore. I got rid of, well, damn, most of the stuff. I think I still have some stuff that I used to have the, be the bands, the beads. The, the pride beads, the bands I used to have. Um, what else I used to have? A shirt that I still need to get rid of. I forgot I have a shirt. I think I wore it in one of the videos here too. Where it was the Nike shirt with the, the check. It was the check had um, the, the pride colors in it. And then on the bottom, written on it, it said, just do him. Or whatever, something like, something like that. <laughs> but yeah, so I regret buying that shit. But yeah, so that's the last thing I think I have. But I know I got rid of everything else, if I'm not mistaken. I probably have something else somewhere. I just don't remember. But yeah, so I'm not into that stuff anymore. That stuff is no good. Those people are no good. Those people are ungodly. Those people is demonic. The things I see on videos, like they show on Twitter, with how these people act. Like, this is crazy. Like, you see, like, these, these women that's, like, you know, shaking their boobs. Of course, those are the unattractive ones. <laughs> that's doing this shit. The ones with the colored hair, the piercings all over their face, tattoos all over their bodies, looking disgusting and all that shit. That's the people who's going out there trying to push this, you know, demonic ideology on people like that. Or trying to push their ways on people, you know, the trannies now. And, and um, a lot of femme gay dudes, which I never liked. You know, I talked about them so much already and, and like, just ripped them apart so many times on this channel and, and, and like, years ago and everything like that. And um, it's just, it hasn't changed, you know? So there's so much you had to deal with. And all those videos I've seen with people like that, I was like, are you serious? 
And another day, when was the last week when Biden had invited them to the White House and everything like that? I was like, wow. And then one girl was showing her boobs or whatever like that. Like, this is what the White House, this is what happened to our country? Like, this is what we've become? Like, we're just a laughing stock now. The country's just laughing at us now and everything because of the shit we're doing. Like, well, the shit they're doing because I don't agree with that. Tons of other people, the majority of conservatives and Republicans don't believe that. that the, they don't like that or believe in that. You know, but they're trying to push this stuff on us for like the 2%. The two percent of the community, I mean, the, of the of the population, you know, like I said, it's only a small, it's like only two percent, maybe three, five percent, or whatever, of um this population. Why are they trying to push this shit on people so much? Like, why with this transgender crap and you know and all this LGBTQIA plus crap and all this nonsense? And then now they have the two different flags. Now they have the one I remember with us the regular colors, um, the regular colors of the rainbow, and then the new one they have where it's like a um triangle. It's like um you know, like the the flag, then they have like the triangle like this <laughs> on the side of it, and uh, that that one has um brown and um I think pink and purple, light purple or something. I don't even remember. I don't care. So that's a new one they have now. I'm like, be serious. So that one's supposed to represent the trans um the trans pe trendy people and Q. I don't even know the Q queer question. All that shit, I don't know because I don't care to look into it because I don't care about it. Like, this stuff pisses me off. Like, I don't want to research it. I don't want to be, I don't want to learn it because it's not something I want to learn. You know, not something I care to learn. It's not something good to learn. So, so yeah. So, but if what I know, that's what I'm seeing. Like, even a lot of like, um, like places now you see, like some businesses, you see that flag. And everything. I know my friend told me the other day that he saw that flag, I think in McDonald's or whatever. I think it was yesterday or whatever in, in the city. I thought, yeah, like, thank God I don't work in the city because, you know, the city is, is definitely where a lot, all they're at, you know, because like I said before in the past, that's where I used to go a lot for, you know, to like, you know, meet guys. And also because that's where the parades were and on um, the village, the pier, all those things I knew, I knew about because of my old friend, Yuki's friend, friend, <laughs> that, you know, he knew about all that stuff. He got us introducing to all that stuff, like with that and with the gay dating apps. I remember the first one I think I mentioned I already was Adam for Adam. That was the first gay dating app I had got into. And he's the one who got me into it where I got hooked to it. And I started using these other ones later in the, and down the line, like um, Grindr, um, Jack, and all these other ones, which I regret using any of that shit. <laughs> so, yeah, so he got me into that stuff and going to the village and the pier. And when they had the center, which is like some kind of like, it's like a community center where, um, they like you know where the community just goes to like hang out or they have like classes they have in there for stuff like on the on what's it like um damn I'm trying to remember exactly because it was a long time ago damn um I don't remember I think like they just teach you about certain like they also teach like certain people like certain like I guess you could say famous like gay people or lesbians or whatever that with like activists and stuff like things like that and they have in the center like um type of like artwork <laughs> that you know gay artists is made or whatever stuff like that but yeah i don't remember exactly everything um <clears throat> i do remember there was a video like um like when i did the like i guess you could see like, the remaster <laughs> of the 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 amigos when i put all the seasons out on, on here i know one of them had us in the center so if you guys want to check that out but you guys probably like, why well, i want to check that out for <laughs> so yeah so i wouldn't even want to check out when i watched it back i was like Wow, and the way how it sounded back then, oh, it was so bad. <laughs> but yeah, so they have all those things he got us introduced to and everything like that. So that's how I got into these stuff. I wasn't like this before. I wasn't into these stuff. I was just more of how I am now. I'm like, yeah, like I'm like, you know, like I am gay and everything, but I'm not like that. I don't want to be associated with these people. I don't want to be, I'm not a part of you, this community. I don't want to go to these type of events, these little gatherings you guys go to because it's not me. I don't like that stuff. They pushed me onto all that stuff, and that's how I became more of like, um, almost I would say a little bit feminine at the time because the people I used to hang out with, liberal, super sensitive and shit like that. It's funny because why I wanted to mention this real quick as well is um, I like Facebook. They have the Facebook memories. I don't know if you guys are still use Facebook. I like that feature because they always show like a lot of things that they say. Oh, on this day, this is what you said um this year or, or five years, six years ago, seven years ago, ten years ago, whatever like that. So I saw a memory, it was yesterday, and I was looking through the things that I said on that day yesterday, um, and five years ago, and it was a couple, like, six years, seven years, or whatever like that. So I saw one, I think it was, when was it? I think it was in 2011 or 2010, where I was, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, 
Well, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna show it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys on the screen so you guys can just see it yourself, and you know. But um, it was <laughs> it was just hilarious just reading that and everything. Like, like, wait, this is me. This sounds like me. This is definitely not me. Like, it's just, it's like a whole different person because it's like I can't believe these things I said before and everything like that because it's not me anymore. You know, so I'm just so happy. Like I said, that I've changed. I'm not the same person anymore. Like that, and my views and everything have changed a lot drastically on everything that's going on in the world not just with the community but everything else you know so yeah so um it's just hilarious when i was reading some of those from my memories on facebook i like i had to delete a lot of them because i'm like yeah this is get this away from me i don't want to deal with this shit this is not me anymore i'm against this stuff uh you know <laughs> i'm different now and everything like that i'm not one of these people I'm definitely not one of these people anymore i can't stand them and it's been like that way for years now and it's even worse now you know, so yeah, I know I strayed away from topic a little bit, talking about yourself, but that's all, it's all, all, all ties together, ties into it and everything with what, the, you know, what's going on now and like how it's so annoying now with this month, like, oh my God, next thing I want to talk about real quick is the, about this with this month. As soon as the month hit, I was laughing on Twitter because like, when was it, like the last week of um July and then people was posting on Twitter, it was like, oh, this is about, it's almost that time, guys. <laughs> and they had like, this every next month, June, and you see like all these different companies' logos. They all changed with the, the the pride flag and everything like that. Or oh, the new one now, with those freaking other colors now, the brown and all this shit and everything. You see them, they, all their logos changed and everything now. And I was just like, uh, I was like, I was laughing at it, but I was like, damn, you're right, I forgot. And then a lot of people were saying the same. Like, it's like one of the most hated months now. It's true. Like, it's crazy because back then, I used to always be hyped for this, like with Pride Month and all this stuff. And like, want to go to parades, want to go to the city, you know, want to like, Pose with like my you know my um beads on gay beads and stuff like that and the wristbands and everything and now it's just different like you see how you know how you see how things could like you know like influence people or whatever like that how how people can change once they you know once they get their mind corrected they see the light and everything like that and that's me so but like I said I'm not trying to sit here and preach about anything with you know religion or God or whatever like that I'm just saying things that I believe and things that change me and why I'm different now ever since 2020 and everything like that. And why that's <laughs> that old Joel, that liberal sensitive Joel is a thing of the past now. And I'm just happy about that because the way that the way I used to talk back then in my videos and the things I used to type as well. And I was looking through those memories on Facebook like, damn, this is how I used to say this shit. Like, <laughs> it was just terrible. A lot of them, some of them I do remember, though, but a lot of them I didn't, don't remember at all. So, yeah, but it's like, come on, you serious? But um, but anyways. Yeah, so, yeah, a lot of these companies, you know, this is the month that they change their logos and every shit, all this shit. So, um, I know a couple of them, um, man, it's so hot. <laughs> so hot and humid. But, yeah, let me see if I can quickly finish this up. But, um, I'm, what, what was I going to say? Yeah, so, different, many different, yeah, a lot of these different companies, like, they have, they change their logos. A lot of them I had unfollowed and blocked, a lot of them as well. And even as regular people who started, like, pushing this because... I don't like this new what's going on now and a lot of these people not from this community it's on to push this on children now which is what a lot of people is getting pissed off about a lot of people's getting riled up about a lot of parents are really upset about and this is what's like um it's almost not like a war pretty much you know because uh, they a lot of these parents or like you know like or this anybody in general whether is people is super religious or not a lot of people is upset that they're trying to push kids into this and this freaking old fool fool as well biden talking about og bt um plus qi you know whatever however you say it children i'm like really so people was like children what are you talking about children there is no freaking children no community because they're young they don't know where they are yet you know leave these kids alone and let them live their lives as a kid like how i have lived my life as a kid and how many other people other people have lived life as a kid like in the early 2000s or the 90s or whatever like that the 80s let, let us live i mean let them live their, their their lives as a child you know like what like like a normal child like what ch children do like we have done you know like back in the day when I, you know I, i'm young growing up i mean co you know coming up i play with toys and my my action figures teddy bears i watch cartoons and everything like that and then video games when i got into and stuff like that you know that's kid stuff like or or, or, or going out we didn't really go out much whatever i know our mom didn't want us to go out much because our area was not good it was not safe so she bought us as much stuff with, as we whatever we wanted just to keep us inside and entertain which I appreciated that for, you know I still love it I, I love her to this day I said still I love her to this day always will and everything like that and I am really grateful for that that's the word I was trying to that's the word I was looking for I am grateful to her for that because she kept us out of you know harm's way and everything like that we didn't end up on the streets or whatever like that because of course I didn't have my fault as well 
you know, I, I, I didn't have a father figure as well. So I'm just, you know, happy and I thank God as well, you know, that I, you know, I'm the way I am. I didn't come out like those people. I didn't come out being on the street corners or selling drugs or whatever like that. Um, you know, oh, joining gangs and all that stuff. You know, I'm just happy I never, I, that, that never came, that email never happened to me, you know, or whatever like that. But yeah, so, um, you know, we had all these things in the house. You know, we had our games and everything. Everything was just to occupy us and we have, you know, have fun. Everything, you name it, we had it. And also I had my older brother as well. He used to bring in games all the time. So we had all that stuff to keep us occupied. We didn't really care about God going outside. But, you know, but for you people that, you know, for you people who grew up, you know, you hanged out, you had, you know, nice areas that, you know, was growing up and you guys were able to hang out outside or whatever like that, you know, play with your friends. That's what, that's, that's what I'm talking about as well. Normal kid stuff, you know, like that's, that's, you know, that's, that's the part of growing up, you know, not now we're in this country where, you know, you have these kids that are trying to teach this shit in school now about with, you know, transgender shit and, um, and gay sex and what else they're trying to teach and this racist shit. And everything like that it's like really this is what kids is this is what you're teaching kids now like come on you know so i don't like that um from what i'm seeing now is a lot of people who support this shit is is on the low with their pedals on the low their pedophiles and everything like that like you're really pushing this stuff on kids you actually agree with this stuff and everything they call them groomers and everything i just call them pedophiles i think it's the same thing or maybe there's something different between the two i don't know <laughs> but um you know they're pushing this stuff on kids now i'm not happy with it at all and this shit needs to stop. So you know, so a lot of people is getting together to like push back this 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 um this agenda, this ideology, these people who's trying to push this on kids and trying to make it seem like it's okay for grown ass men, grown ass mentally ill men to like you know like dress up as females and dance in front of kids, shaking their ass and stuff like that, and and you know dancing on poles and having kids give them money, these drag shows and shit like that. What I talked about um a couple of months back with my video got tagged, you know for. You know, some article, somebody talked about, somebody was talking about, you know, when they tag your thing now, they be doing that now on YouTube, they do on Twitter, they do it and everything like that. So, yeah, about the, when I talk about the drag shows in Texas or whatever like that. So, yeah, so they had tagged it with that and all that stuff. So maybe this video might get it too. <laughs> maybe it might get taken down if, 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 you know, because if whoever gets a, no, it gets watches, I know it's not gonna be much, but if it ever gets super popular, you already know, community is gonna be coming at me. <laughs> so, yeah. So I might have to try and uh, I'm gonna save this video though. So I'm gonna save it, and if anything, I can uh, find another website. I'll still post it up on because there is another one that's more free that like you have more freedom to say things. Um, I think it's called Rumble. So if anything, I'm probably gonna post this on there just in case <laughs> you know if this gets taken down. But I'll have the video saved, like I said. But yeah, so um, you know, so they they're pushing that stuff on on these kids now and pushing it as if this is okay for these mentally ill men to do this shit. And also to mess with little kids and everything like that. Like, you serious? I've seen so many videos with these stuff. I'm like, wow, this is really happening. This is what's happening now. Like, I was, I didn't know. <laughs> I did not know. Now I'm well informed of all this stuff now that I'm seeing on Twitter. All these videos I'm watching, it just gets me angry and everything like that. That's also the reason why I like to try to stay away from Twitter sometimes when it comes to these to these topics, on anything with politics. Because when I see these things, it gets me upset. It gets me really pissed off, you know? And I wish there was more I can do, you know, and stuff like that. I wish I, would, I wish I was one of these super popular people like celebrities or whatever like that or have money because my at least I know my voice would have definitely been heard and I would have been able to do something, you know, because I don't like what's going on in this country right now. And like I said, I, all these other countries are laughing at us because we just became weak. We were very weak and other people are laughing at us. And it's like, I don't know what the hell is going on in this country now. Like everyone just like there's demons running this country now and everything like that. I hate it. <laughs> so, yeah, so they, they have that going on. You know, and then on top of that, these um these companies starting to push, like trying to like um cancel people or like you know like or ban certain people just because they talk against it. Like with this, like with Call of Duty, oh my God, with Call of Duty slash Activision. A lot of people was upset with them and everything like that. And there's a lot of is a big boycott with them as well, like a huge boycott. A lot of people is not buying their games anymore. People who bought their games, um, well maybe digital people bought, they uninstalled it. Me, I buy their games physically. So any games I have from them physically, I'm going to sell it, which I don't, <laughs> but yeah. So any games I had digitally from them, I uninstalled it and, and all that stuff. And I was talk, I was so mad at them and everything. I was bashed them and everything on Twitter and replied like, like these freaking, I like these damn pedophiles and shit, these demon rushers and all that stuff I said about them. I was just mad. I was like, never again, another Call of Duty game again. Nothing was from Activision. You know, I love Crash Bandicoot, but like no more of that, nothing. Like <laughs> I was just so upset because what they're pushing now is just crazy. It's like you can't say certain things and they'll get mad at you. So there was some guy, I think it was Nick, 
um i know his twitter name is twitter handle i think is nick mercs or whatever so he has i don't know anything about him honestly but i know he has some type of merchandise i guess he has some deal with call of duty we has merchandise in the game for people to get whatever in the marketplace and he said something yeah i forgot exactly how he said it or whatever i don't remember how he said it but call of duty saw it as um you know like he they took offense to like as if he was talking bad about the community or the, uh, you know offended them whatever you already know how this, that community is super sensitive now so they had um removed their merch from the game and stuff like that so a lot of people was upset and everything man it was just crazy i was like furious so, like yeah no more call of duty games ever again you know screw these freaking people they want to support that shit. well let them stay over there but they saw losing a lot of money the same thing with bud light and all these other companies that's pushing the shit and have all these freaking trains and shit doing the commercials and all that crap and pushing it like don't push this shit. it's not right what they're doing like these people need help <laughs> give them the help they need not trying to push this on this agenda on people like that like no you know you have grown men you know that think they're women or whatever like that you know like you know something's not right you know and a lot of people say it's a mental illness i agree with that as well so it's like come on like i don't i don't know what's going on now with this world this world's just a mess and i'm really pissed off at it but like i said already i'm just happy i'm a different man now change and everything i'm not one of those people anymore because i used to be just like them I used to be super sensitive and everything i didn't want anybody to talk about um the community because i would get super offended and I used to hate religion. I used to hate, like, I used to hate, I, I would say I used to hate God as well. I used to hate religion. I used to hate Christians, Catholics, Muslims, you name it. And it's crazy because now this is just the opposite. <laughs> I love all of them now, you know, even though I still don't agree with like what um, a lot of these, these Muslim countries like the Middle East do when they, like what they do when they, you know, like inhumane, like, or, you know, when they kill, you know, gay people, whatever like that, stuff like that, I still don't agree with because that's, to me, that's wrong. That's messed up. You shouldn't do that because at the end of the day you're not god you're not the one who's supposed to judge these people you know like let god do that but if it's for these type of people with pedophiles messing with children whatever like that if you want and, and you know you want to have stricter strict stricter actions you know against um, on towards them on them i mean then go right ahead you know go right ahead because i think um in some countries they even spoke about it on twitter like um i think in some place in africa um pedophiles they think they give them a death penalty or I think, yeah, I think that and also um, ca castration. So, yeah, and I think also Russia's on to do it with castration, not with a death. But, yeah, so that stuff I completely understand because that is definitely messed up. That's wrong. That's definitely a sin, all that shit. But, um, you know, like, I feel like you shouldn't, like, be, you know, hang or, or kill gay people like or, or whatever, you know, like, to me, that's wrong, you know. So that stuff I'm still against. Well, then that still love Muslim people and, I, you know, love my Catholics you know christians or whatever and i love god you know because um you know i'm not like that anymore you know i'm just, just not like that anymore i'm not super sensitive and i'm just happy i've changed you know and um before it's like i used to be so mad like when people say certain words like fag or whatever like that now i say it my friends will say it, whatever i don't even care because it's like yeah it's true and like i said i see the definition of a fag anyways when they, people say that i see the definition of that is it's more like the feminine ones <laughs> you know so feminine ones or this is right this overboard, slutty, and all that stuff. You know, the typical type of gay people you see that is not really like me, that is rather just have like a thousand different men to sleep with. <laughs> you know, they don't want to settle down or anything like that, or, you know, have kids or nothing like that. That's only one to sleep with, you know, different, different people. That's why a lot of them have diseases and shit, you know? So, yeah, this makes me look bad, you know? And that's why I'm trying to correct things, you know, or like try to educate people in a way that, and tell them, like, this may this different type of gay people out there is not just those type. I know that's the mainstream ones. That's the ones that mostly people see, and that's the ones that make me look bad. But just know there's that small percentage of people like me that don't act feminine, not girly, not slutty, you know, not not with no no diseases, not you know, not full of any diseases, you know, that believes in God and everything like that, you know, and actually wants to settle down and stuff. There are people like me out there, you know. So I just want people to know that. Like not all of us are like those type of people. And everything like that that likes to do that shit or you know prance around the street and dance around like hey and all this you know all femme and all that crap like i don't do that stuff that's not me that's just nasty and it's just you know <laughs> not it's just not not something i like so it's the god letting you guys know so i don't think i'm one of those people i don't think i'm going to defend them just because i like men too but nope <laughs> i'm the complete opposite i'm against those people and everything like that so yeah so i try to like educate people now on that stuff and everything let them know like I'm not one of these people, you know, I'm not one of those people. Want to call those people fags? You call them that. I'm not one of those people. I don't act like that. I don't carry myself like that. And I don't believe that stuff. You know, I'm a different man and everything like that. 
So yeah, and um, that's it. I talk so long, I don't even know I was talking for this long. <laughs> but um, so yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Comment section below, everything is like super hot. So I'm gonna go get some water and everything. It's like hot right now, humid. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below with everything that is that I talked about today. I know it was a long video and everything. I just wanted to really get more super in-depth with everything going on with this community and also because of this month. Pride month for them. Pride month, not for me. So just for, to me, this is a holy month. Well, not only to me, this it is the fact. It is not, it's not a pride month, you know? It's a holy month, you know? And everything like that is a month for Jesus. So yeah, so that you guys know that as well. <laughs> so if you guys that don't know, you know now, just like how I've learned that and everything like that. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time for another webisode on the Joel Show. Peace.